And the topic today is emergency Seal. lighting. Yeah, quite special, quite interesting. Large. Yeah, a lot of details in this uh, in this topic. So emergency lighting at all? It's uh, I'm, I'm quite sure you know what it is. Uh, it's about uh, to have an, an lighting situation in 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 terms of emergency, in case of emergency, this happens if the normal power supply drops down or fails and that you have enough light in a case of emergency like fire, earthquake, whatever, um, that you have the chance to, to, to leave the building, to escape from the building, outside of the building, uh, that you have enough light uh, in, in terms of an emergency situation. So this is our topic today and yeah, we're going to, to to talk a bit uh, of, this, of the standards. So what kind of standards we have for emergency light? <laughs> um, mainly we have uh, the, the, the European standard uh, 1838 mm -hmm. and um, there are some special uh, national requirements which but but they are the, the technology the technology is the same nearly in every country mm -hmm. just the level is a little bit uh, different and we have some details in some um, countries. And um, yes, it's a little bit special from uh, from the from for the calculation from a view of um, software designer for light calculation software. It's a little bit different than the other um, parts of lighting calculation. So uh, it is not so important that we have the, the mean value. It is more important uh, the minimum value so that you have um, uh, that you are safe when you are leaving a building. Um, we will typically not calculate uh, but with reflections we will typically calculate uh, just with the direct part so that in any situation you will be safe um, uh, even when you paint your wall black for example yeah this is uh, technology wise uh, the biggest change in calculation that we have no reflection just the direct part is counting um, so you can imagine, okay, in the case of, of a fire, for example, you have a lot of uh, fog in the room. You have uh, maybe some some black walls uh, cause of this fire, and so it's it's hard to to calculate reflections in it. It make it uh, make it a bit different in the in the perspective. And we have also, as Klaus told, we hunt uh, minimum values, and we uh, are going to to uh, check the diversity and not the uniformity. So some some tiny specials in the mm -hmm. situations. And it's like in, uh, uh, from 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 a reader's perspective, uh, we're doing an, an calculation on top on the normal situation. So we have both. We calculate the room in a in a normal standard situation and also in in a case of emergency. So if the lighting designer goes to an emergency calculation, he has something on top uh, to the scenery, uh, to the rooms uh, which he calculates and which he gets also an, a separate result uh, of this. So you get two calculations, two results if you're doing emergency uh, in in top of the normal situation. So this is the reason behind and as Klaus told uh, we have the, the EN 1838 across Europe um, there are some MA deviations uh, for Italy and UK um, and some other countries with, uh, which has strong national standards on it so it makes it a bit difficult for a designer uh, uh, if you if you're working across Europe so different countries have different uh, regulations but yeah this, this happens a lot uh, especially in Europe so no wonder but the EN 1838 is some kind of central uh, construct with the with the basics. Uh, uh, there you find uh, all the values you need to calculate. There you fall, uh, fall also the different uh, areas you can calculate. There's also something which is special in emergency light. You have different kinds of um, calculation areas, measurement areas. So you have, for example, the ugly panic area. This is an area where you have the the certainty that you have enough light uh, to 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 leave this area uh, to an escape <laughs> route, uh, and then you have the escape route with an, a bit of a higher requirement. You have one lux by minimum on the middle line uh, in the EN eighty thirty eight, and uh, you have high risk areas. We have, we have high risk areas have. Um, which are working places which uh, that will still need to um, be in use in in the emergency situation for a certain time. Yeah, this is 10% of the normal situation yes, uh, to, to have it left uh, in, in terms of light uh, in case of emergency that you can um, yeah that you can leave this uh, place secure so if you have large machinery workbenches um, something rotating uh, which could be hazard this is an, an area or this needs to be 
uh, treated as a high risk uh, area. And um, then we have also the standby lighting. So it's also something. <laughs> yes, we have uh, emergency signs. It's also in part that's of the standard. Yeah. Yes, I guess it's all. Um, and uh, there's also a an, an new um, um, 1838 in in progress today. So there is uh, the, the standardization committee uh, on the European on, on CEN level is uh, at the moment creating a new version of the 1838. So right now in this in this days or I should say years, because uh, the, the new uh, 1838 will be finished by early uh, 2024. So there is a lot of time uh, before we have the new publication. But there was uh, last week an, a new um, a new uh, a working draft uh, on this of this uh, standard available, and uh, we have uh, read it uh, and we have checked the, what is new in it. And uh, there is no big surprise in it. There was there are more details in it. So we have more um, more information on the duration of emergency stage, which is quite helpful. So this is something where you have to calculate also the, but the battery has to least uh, uh, to have to last at least uh, for one two whatever hours also down to different applications we have more specific applications inside so for example there's an, an, an own small chapter for swimming pools um, toilets um, it uh, could be called a toilet if it's uh, more than eight uh, square meters for example something details like this are inside um, um, also an, a better overview of all these areas and uh, the, the most uh, impact uh, which I found uh, uh, to to uh, to now is uh, we have an, a new area so uh, uh, aside uh, which the areas we have told you about uh, the, the antipanic uh, escape route high risk and so on uh, there's a new one called I have to check local area safety um, lighting uh, in this local area safety lighting is something where uh, people should stay in this area. So it's uh, it's the, um, the levels from an escape route. So one lux by minimum uh, for an for an area uh, where it's allowed to stay. For example, for for personnel, for staff of a restaurant who stays in the situation um, and um, that they have enough light to to stay and wait till the failure, the the blackout is over and so on, and then they can continue to to the normal state. This is a new area, a new calculation area. Um, yeah, makes sense for, for a couple of uh, applications, but it's quite new and we have to get used to it um, to have this another option. And uh, there's also um, there are also some there are also also more details in the annex uh, in, in in informative annex uh, for the measurement uh, of emergency. And this is something where which is, which, which is a bit weird uh, to us because uh, the, the measuring uh, grids, for example. Uh, a reference to what we have in this uh, 12464 uh, areas. This means this logarithmic formula um, uh, from from Professor Stockmar, uh, which told us that we have a an, an, an certain grid in the room, and this is, should also be uh, used used in in terms of emergency, which is a bit uh, weird to us. We we found it it's, it's too rough, but, yeah. or it may be too rough yeah. uh, because. Uh, we make emergency lighting, for example, on escape routes for the safetyness. And in in our opinion, it's a little bit we are a little bit wondering about that. We change the grid size depending on the dimensions of a of a escape route. Because if I go outside of a building, it doesn't matter if the escape route is thousand meter long or it's just 10 meters or 50 meters long, because I'm just interested in the next 10 meters in front of me. Mm -hmm. So, but we will see it's just the draft at the moment. Yeah. So from other side, it's a good thing that when the, the standard gives us good rules in the hand by uh, to make a, a program, mm -hmm. also for mm -hmm. um, all the software designers so that uh, the programs are comparable and they are close to that what later will be measured on the, in, the, yeah. in the real situation. This is also something we, we checked because uh, it's, it's just measurement and not calculation, but we are with our okay. calculations are so close as possible to the calculate <laughs> to, to the measurement. So we try to so, simulate the measurements with the same grid points. In our yes, more or less is that yeah. what Ray looks to. We are yeah. we are simulating a, mis a measurement. Yeah. That's that's, uh, that's yeah. an important thing. Yeah, and that's why for 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 emergency lights. So um, I'm as a lighting designer would would take a, as 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 fine quit as possible uh, for the situation and hunting the, the minimum value 
just to be really sure, especially on, a, on, on emergency situations, that you have really no area, no spot where you have below this half lux for anti-panic or this one lux for emergency midline routes. So this is something uh, where you want to be sure not to have um, up to two meters uh, measurement points in an escape route. So it's, it's really far. Uh, uh, okay, but uh, this is uh, that we, we, we will see the discussions in the next uh, month and years uh, for this new version of it. And um, yeah, it's just uh, in information annex at the moment. So no blame. We are happy that there is an, an renovation of this. So we are looking forward uh, to have them in good standard. And the rest of it looks in really promising. And the, the core elements doesn't change at all up to now. So there's um, uh, the, nobody has to be afraid that there have to be uh, a an, an bigger renovation of, of everything in the standard. It's, it's the same, just extended uh, at the moment. Okay. Um, also, something we we um, uh, we want to to tell you is um, that we uh, also have not just an, a new standard coming, we have also a new uh, version of Relux uh, coming. Uh, you have waited a long time for uh, of the from the last major release uh, to the next one, and we will release a new Relux desktop version soon. So soon means in the next days, weeks. Uh, we will uh, publish a new version, and uh, one big element uh, of this, our new Redux desktop version is emergency uh, lighting. So we will have a bit of more options, features. Yes, uh, emergency lighting is a long time in Redux present, but yeah. it's a little bit. You have to know where it is and what you have to do. It's uh, and so we uh, spent a lot of work to bring it more into focus, to give you more tools and uh, features for a, a better, easier handling. And um, we yep. will show you. Uh, we will show you uh, 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 what we have. Take a short look into yeah. the new, better version. Yeah. A small sneak preview could be not more than just a small uh, sneak a sneak preview because we have so much. Uh, um, uh, features put in in this new um, 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 version that it's not possible to to have in in 10 or 20 minutes every feature covered, but we're going to do an uh, what's new in Redux Desktop uh, uh, feature uh, video uh, by our colleague Basil. He will do a video where he uh, shows every feature or the most of the features uh, in in a separate uh, video. Uh, so we have not here the the, um, the option to, to to show you all. Uh, and also, we will prepare a new uh, self-study course, uh, so an online training course um, uh, on our website, uh, where we where we take you down to the to the last details of emergency lighting calculation with our application with Linux Desktop. Of uh, course, it's so much uh, and so intense; it's not possible to to get it in in, in a short review. Uh, you need to have uh, more information, especially it's. Yeah, our new tools are also uh, expand really the options you have. We have put a lot of more uh, calculation areas in it and so on. So this is something, um, yeah, where we where, where you maybe need more more time or attention to to get it down to the to the ground. Um, also, what I want to 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 tell you is we have um, uh, since since a couple of years the possibility to have um, emergency um, LDCs, emergency distributions. Uh, uh, from the manufacturers in, in, in Redux Desktop with our database, with, uh, with Wolf uh, file formats. It's possible to, to transport from the manufacturer to Redux Desktop and separate uh, from the normal situation LDC and emergency LDC. And, uh, but we have not so many uh, uh, um, 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 manufacturers who are using this option to, to give with the data in, in special um, LDC for the emergency situation. If so, then it's it's really easy to 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 use this in in Redux desktop. If you have it, uh, at least it would be nice from from the manufacturers to to give at least with the luminous the emergency luminous flux. This is also something where you have to set um, at the moment uh, by the by the designer by hand. So you have to know how many how many lux uh, uh, how many how many luminous flux and, and or how many percentage of the normal situation. You have in in energy in light energy uh, uh, in in a certain uh, in the situation of emergency light. So this is something that may be hard to get this information uh, as a lighting designer. You have to go down to the data pages, uh, the data sheets, maybe down to the data sheets of the ballast uh, of the battery system, whatever. So this would be really nice and handy if the manufacturers could uh, provide uh, the emergency flux with the data. So and now we should go into into the. <laughs> 
into the beta version uh, of Redux Desktop. Um, we are now in the beta uh, state uh, to Monday. Monday the beta test is over and then we can yeah, uh, um, loom in the results of the beta test in, in, the, um, in, the, in the release candidate. So we are in the, in the last steps uh, of publishing of this version. So close. The state is yours. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, I have here prepared um, a small scene. We can only have a short look into the to, to the program. Uh, and I have pre prepared here a small scene just with an open area for uh, MD Panic and uh, um, f um, emergency route. Emergency route uh, for a floor, not a floor. Uh, corridor. Corridor mm -hmm. for a corridor mm -hmm. with with emergency route. Mm -hmm. um, the first thing, what the first thing you will see at the moment, we have prepared a separate ribbon, especially for emergency lighting, which includes all the important functionality for emergency lighting. So when you start with emergency lighting, placing um, um, uh, the measuring areas or uh, the, the luminaires, you will have this uh, ribbon available. And from here you can all do all the work which is needed for emergency lighting. We have here also make a little bit of redesign for um, for the measuring areas which are in the past uh, included here in the insert measuring areas. You will now find here not longer the, the emergency. We, you will find it here under emergency in a separate um, in a separate category. And we have also a little bit changed the colors. Um, so that they are a little bit separate from, from the, the normal measuring surfaces. But in the general, you, you will find the same, uh, the anti-panic area and escape routes are also already existed in the, uh, in the Relux program. And they are still here. What is really new is that we have uh, high-risk areas, which are um, linked to the existing task areas because we need 10% of the nominal values of a task area. Mm -hmm. And also you will find here all the luminaires which are useful for, for, the, um, for emergency lighting. And we have now here also included an assist for automatic placement, a little bit similar to the sonal cavity for indoor lighting. And here you can simply now select the luminaire. I have now chosen a, a luminaire which is useful is for escape route. I can here make the separate settings for the, the required lux, which, which will be typically um, by one lux, but you can also change it. And we have also included uh, references to some, to some national uh, standards which, that are using different values from yep. these. And then you can um, select um, this, and then can, you can get okay, auto placing, choose the, the surface you want. And if I just activate the seaplanes. We will also see that the LDCs. You will also see that you have uh, automatically here placed the luminaires in in, a, in the useful um, dimension um, uh, positions, so that after a calculation, you will find this is also new. You will now find here the results in the um, results tab, a little bit similar, like you know it from street lighting, if you make street lighting, and also from the interior scenes, but this has, um, will also now be included for emergency lighting. And you will now see for this escape route, now that you have the correct uh, values on the, on the emergency route, uh, on the escape route. Um, here for the anti panic area, I haven't placed luminaires at the moment, and for that reason, everything is red, now lux. We can also use this assistant for the anti panic, but I want to show you um, a feature that we are really proud. Um, this is uh, something uh, is what we call live result. And if I have select this anti panic area and I activate this um, uh, live results, and I now choose the uh, luminaire which is useful for anti panic, and we will have now here the possibility to place luminaires or and uh, move luminaires and you will see directly the part where the, the, the illuminances are good or bad. Here at the moment I have just um, the threshold tool activate, activated so that I will see green is above 0.5 lux, 
red is under 0 0.5 flux and so I can simply change here my situation individually luminaire by luminaire or also multiple luminaires and directly we'll see the, the, the effect on the surface directly in my uh, on the screen in the window where I'm make edit the values. I have the best possibility to make this in this threshold tool or I have also the possibility here to use here uh, pseudo colors. Moment, I will here switch off the grid and it looks a little bit better and I can also here change the position of luminaires and see directly what happens in my scene. Yeah, this is this is possible because uh, in, in in case of emergency or in emergency calculation, you just need to calculate the direct part. So we don't uh, we can we can skip the indirect part and mathematically it's really really simple uh, to have this direct part calculated, and we're doing it here directly on the graphics cards uh, on the graphics um, um, component of of your computer. And this is why it's it's quite fast. So we have um, yeah real time results uh, in it, and this works uh, quite well with all the different luminars. You can put in all kinds of different luminars uh, to it. Uh, the limitation is that it's uh, it, uh, it, uh, it has to be an emergency uh, situation, so an emergency um, luminar and an emergency um, um, calculation area. And in this case, you have uh, this real time results available in false color or in threshold. The default uh, is, is threshold. That you can see if you reach the value you want to have, so this half lux for anti panic or this one lux uh, for emergency route, that you see directly what happens. This is an, a nice feature if you have uh, existing luminars, if you have the room full of existing uh, luminars for the normal state and you want to equip some of them with batteries or to connect them with batteries uh, uh, and you, you ask yourself, okay, what kind of luminars I need to activate to have uh, this half lux minimum value covered and you just click and see, okay, green, 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 everything is green, finished, and, uh, and, and you have to, uh, and it's, it's, it's fast and easy. In the past it was uh, and try and fail. You set some luminars uh, to, to, to an emergency state and you see, okay, doesn't, is enough, I need to switch some more on, and now you can see it instantly what happens. And as I said, there's no limitation in types, different types, also not in the number, you can set uh, as much as you can. Uh, uh, in, in luminars, there's no limitation in amount or types. This is quite nice, and but it just works for for the direct part. This is something we also uh, think about to put this in the in the in also in our normal situation um, um, shape of the application that you can also see the direct part uh, for street lightings uh, or for exterior for scenes, exterior scenes, scenes or also for places. Scenes. Yeah, but maybe yes. Yeah. So um, we are thinking about to use this um, this graphic um, cards mode, this shader mode, uh, also in upper uh, uh, parts of the application. So for now, it's uh, we start with the emergency lights. This is quite quite fitting to the situation that we have it. And um, yeah. yeah. And by the way, uh, in the morning session, uh, we have a lot of requests. Why is here in this uh, upper part uh, also here a green a range of green? And um, the tool is also possible. You will see here that I have here openings in my uh, partition wall, which I have to separate the corridor from the open area. And so also light will go uh, um, through this through these openings on the and the panic area. Yeah. Okay. And then we have um, we have also uh, uh, um, in the emergency situations we have also um, included a new measuring field which is for vertical measuring surfaces which will be easily used for situations for um, fire equipment, um, medical kits, medical uh, kits. fire extinguisher, distinguishers, um, all kind of uh, emergency equipment, uh, also emergency buttons um, and there's also in the in the 1838 there's also an, um, a part uh, which uh, yeah, which forces that you highlight this area, that you highlight mm -hmm. an extinguisher, that you highlight a uh, fire uh, fighting equipment uh, with a, a, a minimum five lux uh, on this area and that's why we have put in this um, surface and connected it with the five lux of uh, 1838 uh, uh, that you can have it um, 
yeah, that you can have it calculated and um, yeah, and told the client that you have reached this value. And at least uh, we have also, this is also existing in the old version, but it is, was very hidden to find this um, emergency, signs. emergency sign, mm -hmm. safety signs, and uh, therefore we have created a new object so that you can simply, without using a luminaire, in the past you have to use a luminaire, this is still possible, also the manufacturers are free to uh, include this um, safety signs into um, to their database so that you can use this, but we have also included some standard just for for any situation that you can use in your uh, in your planning, and we have also at um, I will hide so that we can have a little bit better can see what happens. We have also here a special functionality which is uh, called visibility feature, which shows that the the range uh, there is in the standard there is. Um, uh, a range given depending on the height of the safe design, the size of the safety design, in which distances you must place such um, uh, safety signs, and this tool helps you to check in which area you have to place the next safe design in the drawing in, in your ground plan and so on. Yeah, so there is a an, an certain visibility range uh, with the height of the lumen and also the type of the of the sign, if it's actively glowing, if it's passive uh, illuminated, um, and this is also going into the calculation and there's uh, in the, again in the 1838 there's an, a part which deals with emergency signs uh, and giving uh, a formula how to calculate the viewing range, and this is an, a nice helping tool to uh, yeah, to, to evaluate or to be sure or to be proof that the emergency sign setting is enough uh, to, to be seen or to, to uh, identify the escape routes. Uh, this is quite special. In the past you have to draw circles in CID and now you can here switch it on and place this uh, luminars or just the signs directly uh, to, the, to the scenery. And at last point I want to show is here, we have here in the past, this was also the, we have still, this is the point uh, you already explained, mm -hmm. but here you will, you have in the past, you have to find this in the product selector very hidden, and now it's much more um, prominent placed here that you can control the settings for the emergency lighting, the, the, the luminous flux and um, the, the, availabil the availability of the luminaire, if it is an emergency luminaire or not, or, or if we can use for yeah. those. Yeah. Okay, I guess that's all we can show you in this, this in the small time. That is what we can show in the small time. We hope you will enjoy this new version. And now let's take a look to the questions, if there are questions. Yeah. And um, there are a couple of questions, which is good. So I read the first one. According to EN 1838, emergency escape route shall reach 50% of the required illuminance within five seconds and 100% required illuminance within six, uh, six, uh, 60 seconds. Yes, uh, it is possible to have half of the lighting uh, fixture turned off during 60 seconds, or should we have the um, the luminance in half, uh, half a looks during 60 seconds. And this is more in question to the to the design. Um, uh, I would not, I would not play around with half a second, five seconds uh, with the with the battery or something. I guess it's, it's not not the right spot to save some energy uh, on this. I would uh, as fast as possible as much of the required <laughs> illuminance uh, uh, provide. But this is this is a personal uh, uh, meaning. Uh, from, from a lighting uh, designer perspective, in the application uh, it's it's not present that you have this timing. So in application there's no um, no duration element. Uh, we deal with static. Um, uh, there's no ramp on or ramp off in the application right now. And it's more or less the, the, a problem of the, the electrical equipment of the of the batteries of the, of the system of uh, uh, which. Um, uh, turns on the emergency. Um, uh, yeah, could be also quite complex. Uh, also, application-wise, there are some applications where it's easy to 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 do or to handle, or there are other applications like spots where it's not so easy to handle uh, in terms of energy and in time. Okay, next one. Um, 
the new measurement area makes uh, sense, especially for a country like South Africa, where an engineering uh, rolling back as regularly. Um, this will come handy, especially if designing for restaurants, hotels, um, or in many other cases, businesses. Yeah, uh, yeah. This new area is really handy for 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 especially these situations. Um, that you can keep uh, a part of, of, of the area, uh, uh, the, the room for the staff, for example, uh, to keep it in, uh, in a way active, uh, or you can um, stay in it. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, if you talk about South Africa, it's also possible. Not just we have not just added uh, standards for emergency light uh, for different European regions. Mm -hmm. It's also possible to to write your own values, mm -hmm. but for just for these areas. We have not uh, uh, an area editor. But at least the numbers which you want, which you can set really individually, um, uh, also to other areas uh, on the globe. You can have also the possibility to set uh, the nominal value for the um, escape routes, for example, to each value you want by, mm -hmm. by the end. But it should be more or less the same rule, so that you have to the requirements on the um, on the sender of the escape route and uh, value uh, on the on the surface and and so on. Uh, when will this new uh, emergency lighting version be available? As Robert told, uh, we will finish the, the beta phase next week. And then we will see a little bit how many points we have then to do. So I will say in days, weeks, yeah. in some days, weeks. So um, yeah, give us a bit of time. So, but I guess so in two or three weeks, uh, it will be possible to have it. If you really, really want to have it uh, right now, um, it's possible to to uh, to get a better version of it. So as this is possible, um, then write us an email, and uh, we can uh, we can try to to send you a better uh, or link to our better version, and you can have it in a better state, uh, but with some uh, bugs. So it's not bug free. It's a better. Yeah. Good. Hi. What I uh, find a little bit uh, obtrusive in emergency lighting uh, evaluation in Relux is uh, so-called time grid. I got the E minimum in the standard grid uh, of evaluation uh, emergency plane, which is above requested um, one lux or half lux, but Relux considered the value of time grid, which is usually lower. Why there is such feature? I think fine grid is not important. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is the point we already um, shown to you. It is a little bit difficult, and um, the reason actually is um, uh, in the actual standard, it just say you have to reach this value on each point. There is no given grid, so you should never be under one lux. For the calculation point, this means okay, we can just calculate in in several steps. But for example, if I make very rough steps, let's say five meters or ten meters, so what happens between these five meters? So mm, you you it's, it's really uh, easy to understand uh, to to imagine that this will not give you serious values. But in many cases, the users want to have the have an emergency road, which is 300 meter long, and they want to see a table. And so when we now print, make printouts for the tables with five meter steps, we make over jump the lowest values between this, for example, five meter steps. And so for that, we have, it's the difference between the fine grid and, and the rough grid. Uh, for emergency lighting, the, the, the table values are not really useful. It is more or less Better to take a look to the um, to the to the ISO lines, the threshold values, and just take a look to the what is the minimum value on on the emergency lane. Okay, then live result, uh, excellent feature. Thanks a lot for for this feedback. Yep, thanks. Is this feature going to be available for artificial lighting calculation or only when there are emergency situations? Yeah, also like stated, um, uh, first we're going to have emergency with it, just emergency uh, only, uh, but we're thinking uh, uh, what we can do else uh, with this uh, uh, with this uh, feature. Uh, maybe we will going in the direction of this dynamic planning. There's already also a feature in it for uh, a kind of real-time results called dynamic lighting. 
uh, with the with the red tracer, uh, our second calculation core in Redux, and this is also possible to have in let's say in in a couple of an, a parts of a second the results. It's not real time, not like like we have it here on the graphic card. It's more um, and and you have to wait uh, for for an, an, an blink of your eye, and then you have it. Uh, this is also a nice feature, and maybe we find an an, an synthesis or uh, some use cases around this. Uh, could be quite handy in, in a couple of situations. Hi, is the uh, section be recorded? Yes, you will uh, later find um, a, a record of this session in on, YouTube. In yeah. YouTube or in, on our homepage, you our will find course, yeah. links uh, to find it. Yeah, there is a, in, 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 uh, on Redux.com you have a website just for fun with Redux, and there you find also all the links to the past sessions, uh, to the also to the upcoming sessions uh, um, with the with the dates uh, and with the topics. Good. Uh, could your present uh, could your present lighting report view be see the template? Oh. Could you present lighting report view to see the template? What kind of template? Uh, I guess uh, he means the the, the 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 result, the print output. Yeah, mm -hmm. sorry, we forgot it. <laughs> but you will uh, you can see it if you're very interested. You can send us a mail so we can uh, give you the the beta version yeah. and you can take your own. Yeah. But by this point, we have also put a lot of energy to our outputs, uh, our emergency outputs. Uh, this were uh, uh, in the past really, really simple, uh, but we have now put in more graphical elements. You can now see also in our in our print output which Lumina is involved in terms of emergency. Uh, you can have a, a, a little bit print out at all, and also some more uh, warnings if you don't reach a value, uh, and also an representing of all the EN8038 um, values with green and in red if you don't reach it, uh, including the, the emergency light glaring situation. Okay. Uh, any plans to uh, add pictograms for hydrants hydra and um, fire extinguishers uh, so and the rest of the uh, we, mm. we have not pictograms, we have the 3D models. Uh, we have a new um, 3D uh, furniture uh, website, so our, our 3D objects are now on Redux.net uh, since a couple of months, and um, there is a, there's a section just for this fire uh, fire equipment stuff, so extinguishers, uh, buttons, um, yeah, what what else you have in, in emergencies, and you can get it from there for free uh, and and put it there. It's not a symbol; it's really a 3D model. Uh, looks like a symbol um, in in a simple way, but it's, it's 3D. Yeah. I can you change the standard height of the the exit sign height? I'm yes. not sure. No. Yes, in the properties. Oh, in the okay. properties, there is one field, and you can also see it okay. instantly how this visibility range is changed by by uh, uh, spinning this uh, high value in the property section of the sign. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, this is a long this, question. Uh, I, I guess we have to overjump. We will read yeah. this later and give you an answer. So. Sorry, this is a really large question. Uh, what is the E emergency lighting on off button left top on the emergency sub? I'm suppressed, really suppressed what the, what the people are seeing at the moment. Yeah, which is a good question. Good yeah. question, yes. Yeah, this is, an, uh, this is an, in a way a switch. If you press this button, this is E button in the ribbon, um, then you have an, another cursor, and with the cursor you can switch on and switch off uh, emergency uh, luminars. This means mm -hmm. if you have existing luminars, you can say, okay, this and this and this, by clicking it uh, are switched on uh, as an emergency light, uh, so which means you, you drop the battery pack um, uh, to the mm -hmm. to the luminars with the switch uh, uh, through and group uh, through individual luminars, so it's um, it's a separate yeah feature for a fast um, application of of this uh, states. Uh, safety signs are some standard, or we can use some uh, uh, some other emergency lighting. Um, yes, the safety signs uh, we have um, the typical safety signs. There's a standard uh, how a safety sign yeah. should look, uh, and we adapted the standard uh, for our uh, neutral generic ones. But it's also possible to to get um, from a, from the manufacturer and yes. another. Manufacturers have the possibility also to use their own their own design, Science. or yeah. when, when it's a little bit yeah. different. Um, couldn't the viewing zone uh, of the sign be an elliptical shape? The viewing zone of the sign an elliptical? No. Um, 
it's just in, in, in radius around uh, the sign. This is just in, in linear formula, uh, uh, quite easy. So height multiplied by something factor is the, the viewing light, but uh, the view can be blocked. So if you have a wall or something else, then this view is blocked, but it cannot be bended or elliptical. It's it's not possible. It's straightforward out of a point of the sign. The formula is really, really simple. It's stated in the in the 1838. Um, how do you do you do for having an a per tour for in in the, the room divider? Um, okay, this is just a technical question. It's just mm. a partition wall with um, with a boolean group where I have made the, um, the breakthroughs. If you have requests, so you have to edit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Simply, yeah. uh, please check our homepage. Mm. You will find us some about boolean groups. Uh, you will find a tutorial on yeah. our homepage. It's uncreated. Yeah. Um, okay. Sign should be restricted to an to an angle as as there is the reason. Okay. That's, that's uh, hi, Richard. Uh, yes, it's a very special question. Um, we will check this and stay in contact about this question. Mm -hmm. At the moment, I have no answer. So the question is if it is, um, should be orthogonal the viewing. So, um, but we interpreted it from from also different angles. And there's no formula which keep an in, in cosinus or something of the viewing angle to the sign to it. We just applied the formula we have found in the standard. But this is maybe a nice discussion um, if we should take an, an an angle of the sign into the viewing range. Um, in the standard, it, it's not. <laughs> But maybe maybe we should correct. There is also a review of the standard. Maybe we should add a cosinus phi uh, to the viewing angles of it. Um, will there be any similar update um, to the Revit um, uh, plugin uh, extended version? If so, will there be a um, subscription required for it? Um, there will be there, there are certain there, there are constantly updates uh, on the on the Revit uh, on uh, recently also. we we weeks a couple of weeks ago we published a new version uh, of it mm -hmm. and, and I'm not sure if it's no, it was not it was not the major but it was a feature with uh, uh, updated with a lot of features and we also going to to do this year uh, also more emergency lighting calculation options in our Revit uh, add-on so this will be happen. Um, that we have also more emergency automized calculation options in, in Revit. That's why we started here also with some more automated, uh, auto-placed features in, in desktop. Good. Uh, we, we're we, running out of time. Yes, so we'll, we'll, we will have to. We, have, we, will, we I will now see at the moment that we have a lot of um, questions. A lot of questions. So um, sorry that we cannot answer all. Um, so we will. It's really a lot, so choose one last question, <laughs> Klaus, and then we we have to leave. Um, will there be changes in the PDF or output documentation for emergency lighting right now? For one room, there is documentation maybe. Yes, of course, we have also optimized the, the print output. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I forgot to show this, um, but also, if you're more interested in this, please ask us for a beta version or in a few weeks you will see it. Yeah. Massively, there's a lot of new information on, our, on the emergency printouts now. More graphics, more details, more relations to the standard. Uh, you will see if you reach the standard or not. Um, yeah, a better overview, inclusive false colors and, uh, and, and CID background and so on. And yes, and I guess this is the a good last question. Is this a free extension or it is a paid extension? Mm -hmm. It is, as in the, in the past, it is a free uh, mm -hmm. extension mm -hmm. of the Redux desktop and um, you don't need to pay uh, to buy any license for, for, for these new features. Yeah, this uh, emergency lighting calculation is so es essential uh, for, for lighting design. So that is, so we don't put it uh, into into a license model. Uh, this is something public and available uh, for for yeah for all. So there's no third party, no other um, um, restrictions. Uh, you can freely use it out of the box um, with all the features you have seen and all the features you see also in the, the next session of uh, what's new in Redux Desktop, uh, where you have an an, an video uh, or an yeah, a demonstration of all the features one by one. 
not just a glimpse what you what you have see, what you have seen now. Uh, and as I, say, as I said it before, is, uh, there will also be an, an self-study course, an online training course uh, on our website, um, uh, together with the uh, publication uh, of this version, um, yeah, which uh, which helps you if you are just starting with emergency lighting, uh, which brings you down to to all the features and um, and train you how to use this emergency lighting calculation options of Redux. So yeah, we okay. have to go. We have um, to go for maybe a last, uh, just a short uh, view to our next episode. Exactly. Yeah. It will be episode eight on uh, 24 Four. of February. And then we will talk about the new 12464. 12 so the, the new EN 12464, okay. it's available since last October or November. So it's a couple of weeks uh, available and um, active. So, and we will have in focus uh, what is new on the 12464 and what is our opinion uh, on this new version of this main or the most important European standard for lighting. We will talk about our next session. Thanks. Okay, so nice to meet you and hope you, we will see you next time again. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.